You know, what happens is, inevitably, inevitably, when the Warriors now get to the NBA Finals, we have this these great feelings about the Warriors, but somebody, this has to be some sort of negative to it. So I don't know if you've heard this. I mean, I've heard Colin talk a little bit about it and other people talk about it. How it's somehow an indictment on Kevin Durant because the Warriors got to the NBA Finals before him and won a championship once, and now they've gotten back to the NBA Finals. Now, first thing we got to make sure and do is not hand them the trophy. They're going to fa- face either the Heat, who defensively would give them fits, or the Celtics. We think they would also give them fits as well, so we'll, we'll see. But what happens is that the Warriors' success, both before and after Kevin Durant, makes many people jump up and go, ah, uh, you know, Kevin Durant, Not winning. Warriors still winning. He wasn't that good. And and don't tell me you haven't heard that. Of course you've heard it. Now, one thing it does is, I mean, I think last season is the perfect example. Remember last season, they got into the play-in tournament and then didn't win in the play-in tournament. Um, But I do think it's interesting, right? Like, that team was... Uh, Steph only played, I think, 63 games. Right, He averaged 32 a game, and they didn't get to the playoffs. You look at KD this year, and what, he played like 51 games or something? Averaged a ton of points. They get to the first round, and they get swept. There, there's there's a lot of mirror imaging out there, right? If you, if you don't have the dudes, you're not going to succeed. The other part you hear is, well, you know, they won 73 games in a title without him. They did. They won 73 games and they won a title. Those two things did not happen at the same time. <laughs> and I don't know. We saw them all on the court at the same time, right? And it was a highly flawed team off the bench. But those starters were incredible. I'm just going to ask you, Jason Stewart, when they played together and they won two NBA championships and got to a third finals, who was their best player? Wasn't Durant the MVP on those finals teams? Both. Yeah. That's my answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know why we do, I don't I don't really know why we why we do that. I don't really get it. Don't really get it. Don't really understand in any way why we have this need like wait, Kevin Durant's not awesome? And 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 it was a little bit of an odd fit, right? Part of it is how Kevin Durant had come up in the league. He'd come up in with a team that, you know, isolated their best players, played off of everything they do. Almost traditional style NBA basketball, how so many other teams play. And then you get thrown into the Warrior system, and it was a blending of how he'd always played and how they'd play. And you can sit here and go, well, it didn't work, but didn't it? I mean, they went to two NBA finals. If they were healthy, they win a third. Don't they? So I'm not really sure why we have the why we have this inherent need to need to let Kevin Durant when yeah he didn't play well against the Celtics but if you paid any attention right the guy carried us in the Olympics came back from the Olympics Kyrie wasn't playing to start the year uh, they went through the whole James Harden thing a James Harden trade he had to come back early for an in, from an injury with no James Harden and not a full time. Uh, Kyrie Irving to carry the team and it's reasonable to think okay at some point in time he just ran out of juice but he's still an incredible player isn't he yeah John Ramos do you think the problem or the question that people may have and what I've heard a lot of is I don't think it's a point of that they don't think it's a great player I think it's a point of he decided to leave the team when really just to try to prove that it was he could do it when really, why leave the team? I mean, isn't it a team concept? Like, he could have just stayed there, right? And they'd be winning, cha- they could have been winning championships left and right, but that's not what he wanted. He wanted to leave and go do something where his name was the number one name. And now that's what I think people are, are kind of get on him for. I don't, th- I don't think, I think he's a great player. I don't diminish his playing ability. I just heard, it seems to be that that's what people get a little irked with him. Like, why would you leave? the Golden State Warriors, when you didn't have to. 
Um, it's a great question. Why do you leave when he didn't have to? That, that's, that is actually a really, really good question, John. Uh, I would say that if we remember, we lived through it, right? Um, it was, th- this is the best analogy. What, how many remote controls do you have at your house? <laughs> in which room, Doug? In in overall room. or just the in the main room? Probably like three. Okay. You ever gone to somebody's house and they have like a universal remote? Yes. And you're like, man, this thing is awesome. I put like a grand for it. I had the guy do it. And then you look at it, you're like, it seems easy, but I'm completely <laughs> confused. Right? Right. Now, if you stay at a buddy's house for like a week or two weeks, you kind of figure it out. But then you go back to your own house and you're like, oh, I'm so happy to be back where I know exactly how the stereo turns on, how this happens, how that happens, how it all works. Right? That that's basically what it what it was. You know? It's he made it they made it work. They're still great players. They still elevated themselves and 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 when it was good, it was really, really good. But you had a team that played one way. You have another guy that hasn't played that way. They try and make it work, and it worked. But he, I, I would guess, wanted to try something else. I mean, like, look, this is it's a very reasonable thing when you think you're, you're taking a job for one reason and you have the outcome at that job that you assume that you would have, and yet it doesn't actually change how you're viewed. Kevin Durant, I truly believe this, okay? And he's kind of said as much. He thought he's the best player in the world. But he was in Oklahoma City, and when you're in Oklahoma City, it was really hard. And it wasn't hard because it was Oklahoma City. It was hard because, like, look, they had Steven Adams. He wasn't going anywhere, and you don't have to guard Steven Adams. He had Russell Westbrook, and Russell was, Russ was great, and he could have worked, but he can't really shoot. They had Andre Roberson. He couldn't, couldn't shoot at all, right? And then, you know, you, you kind of go through their roster, and there was just a, there was a paucity of space, and so if you think, hey, I'm the best one-on-one scorer, I'm the best offensive player in the league, but I can't show it because I'm constantly playing one-on-two, and then somebody says, hey, what if we put you on a team where the other guys are so good that you get to go one anytime you want, you can get your own shot, and nobody can help, and if they help, you pass to them. Great, I'm in. Where is it? The Warriors. Okay. And you probably thought in your mind, all right, like, look, if I can just get LeBron in the finals twice, I'll show that I'm better than LeBron. He got LeBron in the finals twice. He was the finals MVP. He was far better in the second half. He hit the essentially the game winner, the series winner, the dagger in Cleveland over LeBron two years in a row. I think they're both game three. And he came out of that series, both series as the finals MVP. And did most people believe he was the best player in the world? No. And you, you got to sit there and you're thinking to yourself, whether it matters to me or matters to you what people people think, especially what basketball people think, I think it mattered to him. I think he wanted to think, oh, he wanted to go like, you know what? I can recreate this. I can win anywhere. And it's just a lot harder. One, he tied his ship to Kyrie Irving, who's a tough one. But two, Kyrie's been hurt. James Harden got hurt. Ben Simmons got hurt. And here they are. And here they are. Yes, Jason Stewart. The uh, the example that that comes to mind for me, anyways, is um, it seems like Durant's getting the same shade right now that Kobe got. Okay, Kobe and Shaq had this thing. The Lakers chose Kobe. Shaq wins the title almost immediately, and then Kobe got this thing: you can't win without Shaq. Right? It seems like what Kevin's getting right now is that you can't win yeah. without those guys. And yeah. I think knowing him and how he he reads his own press clippings to refer back to. A, uh, last hour, um, I think that he really internalizes that. And I think he does want to win a championship without those guys to prove everyone wrong. Uh, I think that's fair. I think that's that, that's totally fair. I think he wants to. I just don't think it's as easy as snapping your fingers, right? Like, I, I, I don't think they originally wanted the Harden thing, but then the Harden thing happened. And then he was like, yee, Harden's not, he ain't. No, that, ain't, that don't work. You know? So, yeah, I don't... Uh, I I agree that's what he wants. That's what he'd like to do. It's just not as easy as snapping your fingers. It's just not. A- and I think the hard part that people only learn through trial and error is that, one, it does take a little bit of luck. 
Right? I mean, look, here the Warriors, this is the second time that they're going to go through it, and other teams have all suffered injuries. Right? I mean, go, go look. I mean, you play Denver. Denver doesn't have Jamal Murray. Then you go play Memphis, and just like the last, the first time they won a championship, Memphis loses their point guard for two for two of the games. Right? In this case, it was the far and away their best player. You know, you play Dallas instead of one of the top teams because Dallas pulls off instead of playing the Suns, the team with the best record. Right? So I, I think all of that is a little bit of luck. So it takes some luck, but it also takes it. It takes time. You don't do it your first year. You know, almost never do you do it the first year together. That's the one thing about the Warriors that shows how good they were. It didn't take them, it took them one, you know, one season. And they figured it out. I'm not going to sit here and be the, like the world's biggest Kevin Durant defender. Maybe I am. I don't know. But guy's a great player. Guy was, I mean, it's like we forgot last year they were dominating the Bucks, who ultimately won the championship. They beat him at like 40. Then Kyrie gets hurt. They still almost win the series. He has, I don't know, it was 48 or something. Hits a shot with his foot on the line. And it goes to overtime. They lose in game seven. Like, that's with a half of James Harden. No Kyrie Irving. Not a great roster. And they still almost pulled it off. Yes, Ramos. Were there any I mean, I Off the top of your head, were there any times during the Jordan runs where luck came into play for the Bulls? Or was it just they were just dominant and no, nobody stood in their way? Do you remember anything like that where, uh, you know, they were missing this, you know, or were they just so dominant it just didn't matter if, the teams were full strength. I, and I, I don't remember I, off the top of my head, but I don't either. I don't either. I mean, I can remember, like I can remember chapter and verse, all the injuries that preceded that, right? There was a year where magic, magic was hurt. Right. And the Lakers, the Lakers didn't win. Obviously there was, um, you know, Isaiah, the, the, the second of the back-to-back years for the Lakers. Remember he sprained his ankle. He had an incredible game on a sprained ankle, but then, you know, he's a shell of himself for game seven. There were lots of injuries preceding that. I don't remember that. I'm, again, I can only kind of go back through the finals. You know, the the Jazz two years in a row, they were healthy. The Suns, who they beat, were healthy. Uh, the Lakers, who they beat. The only part about that Lakers team, that was the first Lakers team in the finals without Kareem. But, I mean, Kareem had, had obviously aged out. Um, who else did they play? The Portland Trailblazers were fully healthy. So I don't think so, but I could be, I don't know about the other series. I'd have to go back and read. It's a very good question.